get set, go! Well, it's about time. Mark and Harvey are really sweaty now. Whichever team can make a cake faster for four, ton of gack on their heads, and get 20 bucks in control of the game that's finally letting Harvey and Mark get a piece of the show. It's, it's super, super sloppy double dare. Double dare. For sloppy double dare guest host, Jim J. Bullock. Hello, 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 and welcome to a special super sloppy double dare. I'm Jim J. Bullock. I'm your host, but we'll get back to that later. First, let's meet our blue team. Here we have Harvey, who works 20-hour days and grows hair for hobby. Har Harvey, what else can you t tell us about yourself? Ah, uh, no, hardly anything. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I react really badly to cold, sudden cold temperatures. I know that. Uh, You're going to be fantastic <laughs> on this, Harvey. <laughs> Teresa, you, what can you tell us about yourself? You like turtles, don't you? Well, I used to have a turtle farm when I was little. Well, what happened to it? Well, we only had them for like so... Mm -hmm. We'll and talk we... about that later. <laughs> and over to our blue team. Here we have, oh, of course... Red, Jim. I'm, red. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Red, blue, red. red. I'm so confused. <laughs> On the red team, we have Mark Summers, who is the reincarnated Elvis. Thank you. And Baker of Bread. What does it feel like to be a contestant on your own show, Mark? This is really strange. I don't, now, you hosted Hollywood Squares, right? Yes, I did for two weeks. Now, what did that feel like I had you? a nervous breakdown, but I'm back now. I'm okay. <laughs> That's really. how I feel right I'm now. I'm okay. <laughs> Gary and I are going to beat the pants out of Harvey and that other person over there. Oh, well, we'll <laughs> see about we'll see. that. Gary, you want to be a teacher someday? Is that what I hear? Yes. Yeah, well, great. Well, I hope you do your very best. Okay, now, let me explain the rules of this game. And First off, I, I, I want to tell you, I've watched your show a lot. I'm a real fan of it, so I think I got the rules down really pat. So. Oh, good. The rules are basically you get three squares across down di or diagonally, <laughs> and the first game is worth five hundred dollars, second game is worth a thousand dollars, and the winner of that gets to go for a car. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the wrong show, I think. Who wants, who wants yeah. to be oh, the well, first? You know to tell the rules. Me. You know the rules. So let's just get to the first question. Let me find out here, okay? okay. And the toss-up was won by you guys. No, right? no, we got it, Jim. Oh. <laughs> we <laughs> got cheating it. from the very beginning. I know, no, no, no. I gotta win. We have twenty dollars. Okay, here's your first question. Okay. You guys watch cartoons, right? Oh yeah. Okay, on the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. What is the name of the kid who is friends with the animals? Uh, da we dare. You dare. Okay, on the new adventures of Winnie Pooh, what is the name of the friends with the animals? <laughs> uh, Christopher? I need a full name. Christopher Robin. Oh, wonderful, oh, wonderful. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Fabulous. Harvey, a man your age shouldn't be watching cartoons, I have a feeling. <laughs> okay, Harvey, you guys get to go again, right? Yeah, yeah right. am I right here? Okay. Uh, in, in the movie, what was the full name of Harvey's pal, played by Jimmy Stewart? Oh, I know that. Huh? In huh? the movie, what was the full name of Harvey's pal? Played by Jimmy Stewart. Elwood P. Dowd. I don't believe this! I bet I do. Another $10. Whoa! Huh? We're whizzing through this, you guys! Okay, you get to go again. Okay, according to the World Almanac, a light whisper is 10 decimals. A jet plane at, at takeoff is 100 decimals. What is 50 decimals? Is it A, rock music, B, light traffic, or C, a typewriter cranking out a hilarious episode of Mr. Belvedere? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, C doesn't exist, so let's see. There's a... Uh, <laughs> I see. Just, um, Time, I think it's just Darius. That's time. what I think. Uh, we dare. Okay. So okay. Uh, you know, you got the question, Rock. We yeah, just like typewriter. Uh, double dare. Double dare. We double dare. I think. Uh, okay. Take the you know the question. Challenge. I'm going to repeat it. Go. Uh, physical challenge. <laughs> All right. Well, it's typewriter. That's the answer to the question. Time for our first physical challenge. Let's go down. Okay. Okay. Guys. What we're basically going to do here is, is make pancakes. So, Harvey, I think this would be a good place for you to come right over here. Let's scoot right That's over here. That's a great here, place for Harvey to be, And you hold this. And what you're going to do, you're going to stand right there for a while. Okay, stay there. And you're going to come over here, and you're going to get these pancakes. You're going to dip them in the syrup, okay? And then you're going to throw the pancakes over here. And he's got to catch three pancakes in this. And then at the end of that, we like to put whipped cream on top of the pancakes. So you reach behind you, grab this, and put some whipped cream on. Okay, you ready? Any questions? Okay, on your mark. Just three in 20 seconds. Okay, on your mark, get set, go!
seems like the red team over here, you guys did everything you were supposed to do in the pancake thing, and you got 40 more points, and now you're up, up to 70. And let me take a little minute to say why I'm doing this show. I don't know why, although, <laughs> uh, but they tell me I'm doing this because a lot of cards and letter came in. They wanted to see Harvey and Mark do the show and get all gunked up and everything. So uh, they needed someone to play host for a day, so they asked me because I was yes, out of work. Now, Mr. But anyway, Cole, we'll but go on to our first question. Or third, or fourth. Anyway, you guys get this next question. Okay, okay here's your question. Right. Add the number of kids oh, on God. Growing Pains with the kids on Kate and Alley and subtract the kids on Roseanne. What do you come up with? Dare. Add the number of kids on Kate and Alley and Growing Pains and this, and what do you come up with? I think it's three. Oh, too bad. Oh, oh you're kidding me. Oh, How many was it? No, it's four. Oh, oh, my. oh I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Angry. I'm so sorry. Now, in this case, do I go to the next question? No, you, you go over there okay. to Harvey because yeah. I messed up. <laughs> I won't talk to the losers anymore. I want to talk to the winners. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Who does the rap song Going Back to Cali? Uh, can you repeat the question? Who does the rap song Going Back to Cali? What is rap music? Uh, dare. We dare. Uh, do you know? Who does a rap song going back to Cali? Double Dare. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he said Double Dare. Yeah, what, we'll, we'll let him go. Okay, see Double Dare. Who does a rap Cali? Physical Challenge. Can I guess who it is? Physical Challenge! Oh, my no, who was it? What, who was it? Was it DJ Jazzy Jeff? In the no, you room? idiot. It was LL Cool J. Let's oh. go down to our Physical Challenge. <laughs> All right! I got taken down the road again. Okay, here we are. The pie machine. Now, basically, what we're going to do is a lot of fun because there's a little machine that makes pies out, and the pies are already made with a little ready-made cr uh, red crust here. And I think I'd like for you to come over here, Teresa, and put the cherries on the pie as they come by one by one. And then what you're what, what you need to do, Harvey, you need to pick up the pies and put them in the bucket here. But you don't pick up the pies with your hands; you pick them up with your face. <laughs> Won't that be fun? <laughs> All right. Now you need to Real get three. Mark, yeah. <laughs> you need to get three pies in here. Four pies four in there. Pies. Excuse I me. Like four this, pies Harvey. in there in 20 Wait, seconds. How do, I, how do I pick them up? With your face like this and you can use your hands to take them off okay are you ready you understand no hands ever no, no hands, hands uh, do you take the pie off yes you can t t take the pie off but put them in the face yeah yeah you got it okay yeah you got it yeah, yeah. And on your mark get set go <laughs> Jim, yes. Harvey's got a lot of money put away. He certainly does yeah, have a lot of money because, put away. Uh, and what a pretty he may face be making that his is final indeed. appearance on this program. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna need all the winnings, boy, because my career's done now. We beat Mark. Whoa. 130 to 20. <laughs> okay, so you guys got I don't know how many points there they, did they pick up. They picked up 40. They picked up 40 more points, so I guess they get to the next question. All right, let's go to our next question. Uh, one of the famous Double Dare games was pulled out uh, at the last season with an incredible what? What? I'm sorry. Well, one of them was pulled out at the last second, I think, is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, last one second. of the famous Double Dare games <laughs> was pulled out at the last second with an incredible answer. What was the year, what year was the Boston Tea Party? Oh, no. <laughs> you, I can't tell you how frightening you look. Um, <laughs> this is really scary. A dare. Okay, what year was the Boston Tea Party? Now you're a young man who goes to school and, and just studies all this stuff, and you probably know when the Boston Tea Party Come was, on, don't Gary, you? Come on, Gary, you know, 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 Double dare. Double dare, okay. Okay, what was the year of the Boston Tea Party? Tea Party, I mean. Total doofus is here. Ah, je ne parle pas toi. Physical challenge. Another physical challenge! The answer is 1773, where have you been? Let's go down here. Okay. Now, this one's really basically quite simple. What you need to do, you need to arrange these pipes in order so that they will take the water from the big tank, daddy tank, down to the little baby tank, okay? So that's basically, you just put the, the you want to, you know, funnel the water down to the, now, remember, you want to get beyond the red line. So, why don't, you guys have 30 seconds to do this in, so you're going to arrange, you know, any questions about this? No, no, didn't think so, on your mark, get set, go!
look who has control. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, oh, we well, that's the, the end of our first round, so golly gee, I guess we'll be back with a little bit more for more wacky fun. See you now. Second round, and let me explain to some of you when you this is where your do, your dollar amount doubles, and when you hear this sound, that means you get to go for a car, and it's the end of the game. But right now, what we're going to do here is you guys got these little lovely hats on top of your heads to make more fools out of you, and you're going to swim over and try to get those filled up with water beyond the red line. So you ready? Under, understand that? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> the back of his set. Okay. Uh, we're back well, up we, here. We got it. And right? they got it. Mark, you, you are... Team, we get $40. Way to go, Gary. Yes, nice job. You actually have right. a chance to pull yourself out of this big hole you've dug yourself into. We can do it. Okay, Mark, what's your favorite dessert? Uh, <laughs> my favorite dessert... <laughs> That's fantastic. You know, the <laughs> residents of Portland, Oregon, they, what do they do? Do they eat 60 cents per cent more Campbell's soup than the national average? Or do they eat more cheddar cheese and nacho soup than any other city? Or, C, do they complain the most about all these stupid soup questions? See, my favorite... Uh Dessert is soup. Uh, obviously, that's why that question is there. I dare, uh, don't you? Yes. You, they dare. They, they, they dare. Let's go see. Could you repeat the question? Oh, sure, I certainly will. <laughs> like you're going to know uh, this, the, Harvey. The residents of Portland, Oregon do what? Do they eat 60% 60, 60 more Campbell's soup than the national average? Do they eat more cheddar cheese and nacho soup than any other city? Or do they complain most about these stupid soup questions? Uh, double dare. Oh, please. Oh, uh, we'll the take the physical challenge, Jim. Oh, boy, they're going to go for that physical challenge. Let's go. Oh, boy, this is my favorite. This is a good one. Okay, 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 okay. This is for all you couch potatoes. Mark, uh, you should know something about this, yes? Okay, Mark, why don't you come over here, sit down in this lovely sofa chair we have, very padded, heavy budget here. Sit yeah, sit down there, shut up, and have a, have a bite to eat, doll. Okay, now you're going to come over here, and you know what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, let's move this up. I don't think it's quite close enough. There we go. Maybe there's a little closer. Just a little bit closer. Teeny weeny bitty closer. Okay. Now your job, Gary, is you're going to throw at that, uh, see that little target there? You're going to throw these mashed potato balls and uh, see if you can hit that target and you have to hit it within 20 seconds. And are you ready? Yeah, on your mark? Get set. You're right. Come on up. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Good job, Gary. Good job. Okay. Okay. Uh, like somebody puked on me. You really got it there, Mark. That's a lovely look for you. You might even start a whole new fashion trend. You never know. Oh, I told okay. you Harvey would come from behind. On the Cosby Show, it's common knowledge that Cliff is the doctor. That's right. That's that. right. Okay. But his wife, Claire, has a job out of the office, right? Right. She, she's a lawyer. So, our real question is, how many total miles of shoreline exist along the Atlantic coast of the United States, according <laughs> to the U.S. Commercial Department? <laughs> <clears throat> Are you serious? No, I'm not serious, and this show isn't serious either. <laughs> Bye-bye now, folks. Uh, uh, Gary, you want to dare them, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. dare. Over to you, blue team. A double dare. Uh, who cares about that answer anyway? Okay, well, the game is over, and it looks like you guys are our winner, the Red Team! Yes, we beat Harvey. We All beat right, Harvey. guys, but, but calm down. I want you to know that there is no loser in today's show, because as in life, there is no loser. So you both are going to win, right. and what Harvey and Mark are going to do, they're going to play the opposite Welcome back 
to the super sloppy obstacle course. Yes, Mark, stop playing with those balls, and you, I'm gonna slap you on the head again, because I like it. Okay, here's the object of this course. Of course, I don't know why I'm telling you guys, you know this already. Mark, you're gonna jump into that ball of balls. You're gonna come out, grab the flag. When you come out, you're gonna pass it to them, and when you pass it to them, they're gonna win this. Jim, it's the Franklin Word Wins. Don't look it up. Punch it up with Franklin's amazing word wins. It instantly corrects spelling of 80,000 words by Miriam Webster. And here we're at the Lake Double Dare. What we're gonna do here is you're gonna get in this boat, go across, try not to get your feet wet because it'll make you slippery. If you get that flag, you'll win this! It's Mead Binoculars. Mead High Resolution Binoculars with multicoded optics for the brightest, sharpest images obtainable. Precision optics from the leader, Mead Instruments. And here we are at the Ear in One. It's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of ear wax in it, and they're telling me to be long. Take my long time with the long words. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through this long ear telling you're gonna grab that long flag with all that hoopy wax. And if you get that wag, then you know what? You're gonna get a chance to win this! It's she blows and what do you call these things mark a valves that's right you call them valves and you're gonna try to punch one of those valves a flag's gonna spew i mean a flag's gonna spew out a flag's gonna spew out and if you get that flag you'll win this it's a new bike a lot a new popularly priced lightweight bike by murray featuring 12 speeds fully loaded frame and three-piece crank a lot by murray ride with the winner and then we're over here where it's called the ringer, and you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna jump in this ringer. You're gonna be rung through, and again, I've got to make my time. Let me tell you about a little bit myself. I was born in Wyoming, and I grew up in Texas. But then you're gonna come out here. You're gonna go through all this gunk. It's nice and tasty, mm, delicious and lovely. And grab this flag, and if you get that flag, you'll win this. <laughs> The fabulous moonwalk. <laughs> Shut up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through this moonwalk and you're gonna go through that hole. You're gonna come out this hole and you're gonna grab this flag. And if you grab that flag, this flag right here, you'll win this. It's the Casio digital guitar from Casio. The DG10 digital guitar features include 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. DG10 has 20 fret neck and sustain reverb effects. And here we are at number seven, the K. Which, if you go in here, if you ring this fabulous bell, you, uh, a lot of stuff will come down, a flag will come down. If you get that flag, then you're going to win what? Jim, it's a And here we are again at the tank. And you know what? This tank is filled with lovely gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of jello and all kind of lovely whipped cream and little jimmies. See the little jimmies right there? They're very fantastic and fabulous. And if you win this, you're going to go all the way through there. You're going to walk up. Let's walk very slow because we've got to spread our time out. <laughs> We're having such fun here. No, really, folks. You're going to grab this flag. And if you grab this flag, why don't you tell us what we're going to win then? Okay, we're over here at the gumball machine, and are you ready, Harvey? Yes, and Mark, are you almost up there? Well, he's got to he's got to go up the ladder. We'll go up the ladder. He wants to start at the bottom? Well, Mr. Know-it-all from reading a lot of books, start at the bottom! All right, on your mark, get set, go!
go through on this thing. What's this? On the balls? What? Oh, the balls? Oh, go to the, uh, the gumbo machine. was absolutely the most bizarre. That looks like a lot of fun. Barbie, you look like some parfait. How do you feel? I hate this job. <laughs> Super Sloppy Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, Reebok the, the official shoe of Super Sloppy, Sloppy Double Dare. Dare.